What is hydroponics? Hydroponics is soilless gardening, which means that we don't use any um, soil which might uh, harbour soil diseases or bacteria or organisms. What we do is we grow in uh, inert mediums and using nutrients, which are just minerals dissolved in water as a food supply. Now in soil, the plants derive their food from the soil and they do that because as the water runs through the soil it dissolves the minerals and the plants absorb it in a liquid form. They don't absorb it as a solid form and that's really important to understand. If they absorb it as a liquid form then there really isn't much difference between how plants get food in soil or in hydroponics. To a plant, I can't tell the difference. Anyway, probably best if I demonstrate. What I have here is um, just run the mill tap water, and what we're going to do here is demonstrate um, using a nutrient tester that uh, it contains some solids, and this is flashing at the very lowest level, just down at the two level. It keeps turning off, which is good. So is the battery. And that's how we test the nutrient strength. I need to light this one here. will give us a reading. The higher the lights will actually show you how much food is in the water. So normal tap water, which is supposed to be really pure and healthy, well, it contains something. It tells you that. But it's at the lowest level. So if I pour that into a couple of jugs, we're going to do a bit of a test here. So pour it up to the litre mark. There. And the other one here. I've got a computer right beside me and I'm pouring water. And water and electricity. My wife, my um, mum always taught me when I was growing up never to mix water and electricity. But, uh, of course that's what I chose for a career, so it shows how good a son I was. And I'll just put that behind there. And bring up what is an uh, average Ambro premium potting mix with working agents and all the good stuff. Okay. It's interesting to see that it actually says on the label that um, you should use gloves and uh, you should wear uh, a mask when using it. Uh, of course, uh, the things that people tell me about soil, they say, oh, I love the smell of it, I love the feel it between my fingers, those are two things you shouldn't do. It's funny, that. Um, okay, there's a cup full of uh, soil. You might make a couple. I'm just pouring it into that jug. All little bits of bark and all sorts of stuff. Okay, now, as you said, plants are going to derive their food from the soil. So if I stick that in there right now, it's still at the lowest level. But as I simulate that dissolving, it's gone from 2 to now 3. And we go and stir a bit longer, and now it's at 4. And uh, that's safe for all you techno freaks out there. And we stick it in there, and it's now reading 5. So I would say that it's not the most soluble thing in the world, but we're stirring and stirring and stirring and seeing how much we're going to get out of this. Uh, turning on again. We're down to 3 again. It's up to 6. Then soil is not the most soluble thing in the world. Tap it, make it sure it turns on again. Uh, we've got up to six. Okay. You should be able to see here that we've got some solid matter near the surface, which is floating. So some of the soil stuff is uh, stuff like bark and so on, which might float. There's a lot of soil particle, in particular, which has sunk. But there's a clear band starting to form here, which, if I leave it long enough, will go almost completely clear with just a tinge of brown. Now what that shows you is that that's actually what the plants absorb, a dissolved version of the soil. They don't absorb it in solid forms, they absorb it as a liquid. And the rate that um, fertilisers dissolve is very important. In hydroponics we try to make sure that everything is there, Well, there's a potting mix, we don't know, we don't know for sure that all the, potting, all, all the minerals that our plant needs are in there. We don't know if in the right quantity, if it's too strong or too weak, we don't know if it's the um, uh, right strength, we don't know if it's uh, the right components. It's generally um, a question mark. 
they can, from observation, make a good guess when they're making up a, a pony mix, but they'll never be absolutely sure. In hydroponics, we work out what the plants need. We make up a formula exactly what the plants need. That's something that we can demonstrate now. Okay, so here are nutrients. They can, they're uh, in a bottle. They contain all the minerals that you find in a perfect soil. Um, but I'll demonstrate that. If I grab uh, the nutrient tester again, demonstrate tap water, still reading two. So, uh, that's on the conductivity scale, CF scale. I get some of this. And it says on the packet that I should add four mils of A and four mils of B. So that's a small amount, so I use a syringe to measure it. Sucking that up. So four mil mark. And you'll see it's a very bluey green colour, which is what copper looks like. Give that ace in a, a ring of copper around your bath. That's what it looks like. Tip that back into the bottom. And the part A. And this contains your. Yeah, the reason for two parts is because we need to keep calcium separate. You can see that that's actually a very clear solution. Okay, so I'm only doing that to clean that out. Give it a stir. Let's see what the nutrient strength is now. 28 CF. Give it a stir. See if it gives me the same reading. Just getting used to the temperature. It's a bit cool. 27. Yeah, 27. That's about where it's supposed to be. Now what we can do now is basically know how much fertilizer to add because we can measure it using a syringe or measuring measuring cup or whatever. We can use a nutri nutrient test to prove that it's the right strength. We know that when they made this up, they made it to the right strength, the right components. So all your um, calcium, uh, let's read it out for you. It's got all your nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, iron, manganese, boron, zinc, copper, and molybdenum, which are the elements the plants need. So you've now got a situation where all the food's there, and all we have to do is water the plant with this solution. And you get the same solution that you get from dissolving soil. So literally, this is liquid dirt. To the plants, they can't tell the difference between this and when they're getting fed by soil. Except, I suppose, that it's much more soluble and always ready for the plant. So there you have it. Uh, Nutrients contain all the right elements in the right quantities and you can measure it out so the plants get the right amount. Um, basically there's nothing contaminating it, we've just got the only elements that are required. It's the right type and there's no worrying about what fertiliser to give and when to give it. A lot of people ask me, is it organic? Now, organic is a great word that people use in to mean that something's safe. Okay, so let's let's try and work out exactly what we mean by organic. True organics means that it's derived from plant, uh, rotting plant material, and from um, uh, animal manure and rotted animal parts like bud and bone and so on. And in that respect, hydroponics is not organic. It's not derived from those sources. Um, but if, if you're talking about organics in terms of is it safe versus unsafe, is it um, natural versus synthetic, um, the minerals that we're using in the nutrient solution is um, dry from soil, they occur naturally, they're not synthetic, they're not artificial, they're basically all the plants would get out of soil. So, in terms of, is it natural? Mineral solutions are truly natural. If you look at the uh, box of, uh, uh, of cornflakes or something like that, they might say things like added minerals and so on. It's, it's a natural thing. Um, but True Organics has made its way in the hydroponics too. So now we have, do have certified organic foods, and we have 
natural mineral foods. And in fact, this brand here, Power Growth by New Life, is actually um, has seaweed in it, so it's actually a blend between organic and and minerals. So, um, if you're concerned about the uh, organic side of things, you can go organic. If you're concerned about being natural and not synthetic, you can choose either form. It's just really up to you.